Coming up this November, we've got our midterm elections. They're among the most important that we've had as long as I've been in politics. It's a referendum not only on the progressive uh, legislation that this Democratic Congress has put forward, but really on the direction that this country is going to take going forward. They are the party of record. They control both houses of Congress. They control the presidency. And to do that in, a, in an era, uh, time period where you have 10 or 12 percent unemployment uh, and continued economic difficulty in the housing market, uh, is, gonna, is a problem politically. It's frustrating. You want to see some big initiative from Congress, but uh, it seems like it's slow in coming. There's a whole lot of research that has been done over the years that suggests that you know, economic issues are primary in voters' minds when they go to the polls. The average person is not seeing what they would like to be done, done in a quick manner. They're not seeing results. They hear that everybody's trying to do this, trying to do that. There's an outside chance if that voter anger that's out there becomes strong enough that the Democrats could lose control of Congress. A lot of the Congress people are worried about this upcoming election because the way the economy is. I think for uh, middle class voters, what's going to be on my mind at least is to see that some action has progressed throughout the year. You know, I think voters want action. I think that's why the health care law that was recently passed is so important. I think Democrats have done an awful lot to address uh, what the public is feeling. Passing health care reform, increasing the amount of money that's available for Pell Grants, uh, working toward meaningful legislation to address climate change, ensuring equal pay for women in the workplace. All I ever expected was to be treated fairly and equally and according to the law. It's up to that uh, party in power to remind people of why they were elected in the first place and what they've done to ad address the uncertainties surrounding the economic downturn. Significant economic stimulus legislation put $787 billion into the economy. And while it's hard to say that we've fully come out of the woods yet, there's no doubt that there are signs of recovery. There's a lot of anger out there. Um, it depends on whether the Democrats can channel that anger and really address it uh, with policies.